back to the daily grind and shout out to the full time patrons. Make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is. It's full time. MMA. And it is official as a whistle. Darren the Gorilla Till versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson has been officially announced by the UFC for UFC Liverpool's main event. Holy flying flipping flapjacks. We got a banger on our hands. Woohoo! Steven Wonderboy Thompson, one of the best strikers, counter strikers in the welterweight division. Not always the most exciting as we saw in his last Wonder, you know, Tyron Woodley fights. They got a lot of heat for that. And, you know, sometimes it is what it is. But when you got a gorilla in Darren Till that is willing to, wants to prove he's the best welterweight in the world and he's hungry for the title shot, he wants to get to the title, he's going to come in here and probably charge forward and try and take Wonderboy out a la Donald Cowboy Cerrone, which is when Darren Till probably he bursted onto everybody's radar he took out donald cowboy cerrone in the first round and that's when everybody said yo we need to pay attention to this kid the trash talk is there he speaks porch i mean come the fuck on darren till is a living legend and he's only like 26 i don't even know how old the kid is you get the point i'm hyped darren till the gorilla ready he got the fight he wanted he's been asking for stephen thompson hell i think we heard about this in january but Dana White, you know, Dana White is the one who said it. Wonderboy Thompson versus Darren Till in England. We were like, yo, we cannot wait. But then Stephen Wonderboy Thompson's father, his team came out and said, yo, Wonderboy, we, we ain't taking that fight in, in, in London, dog. Our thumbs are hurt. So Wonderboy, um, you know, he had his injury with his thumbs. Now the UFC, Darren Till, it looks like they waited it out, waited for the thumbs to heal. And now Darren Till got the fight he wanted. Now. Um, one interesting thing I actually heard about, like, on the MMA beat, I believe, they were saying that, you know, how, like, Darren Till, like, when the UFC has their eye on you, like, look, Darren Till was able to fight Cowboy Cerrone, his first-ranked opponent, and then next fight, right up to the number one contender spot, you know, like, Darren Till got the fights he needed, because he looks like the UFC's behind him, and they were just saying, like, goes to the point to some of these other guys, like, I can't get a fucking fight in the top 10, and I'm on a five-fight winning streak. What the hell is going on? You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's interesting, but at the same time, Darren Till's got so much potential, you can kind of see why. This guy's undefeated. He can fight at, like, three different weight classes. He speaks, like, three different languages or, or two. I mean, <laughs> really, what the... You, you can kind of see what's going on here. Darren Till's got a lot of potential as a champ, champ, champ. I mean, we can go on and on, but he, before we really... Yo, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson can pump the brakes on all of that right here. You know, we've seen uh, guys that had a lot of potential, girls that have a lot of potential, and the fight that you think would put them in at that next level, Cody Garbrandt, huge rising star, a lot of potential. All he had to do essentially was get past TJ Dillashaw and was off to the moon. He almost did it, but boom, right there in its tracks. Uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, essentially. He was about to be a welterweight champion, but he had to get past Tyron Woodley. He got two cracks at it. Wasn't able to get the job done. So we'll see what happens. You know, Conor McGregor had this test when he fought Chad Mendez, Jose Aldo, and um, Eddie Alvarez. Passed all those tests. So with that being said, we'll see what goes on. But UFC Liverpool, I believe, is just going to be a free Fox Sports card. But it's going to be stacked. There's already Gunnar Nelson. Actually, I got the card right here. So far. Darren Till versus Steven Thompson, Gunnar Nelson versus Neil Magny, Gina Mazzani versus Lena Landsberg, Daniel Kelly on the card, Elias Theodoro, Jason Knight. A lot of good fights on the card. And on top of that, I'm going to do another new story on this video. Boom, boom, boom. Let's get Michael Bisping on this joint. Take that card back off. Michael Bisping is interested in having his retirement fight being on this card as well. Former UFC champion, middleweight champion Michael Bisping coming off a fight with George St. Pierre. Of course, the Kelvin Gastelum knockout, but that was kind of, you know, he probably shouldn't have been in that fight. But Michael Bisping's riding a two-fight losing streak, fought GSP, had the title. Would st he's still a fucking big star as far as the UFC is concerned. He's been in movies. He's you know, been around, he's a veteran, been in the UFC, so Michael Bisping, if he got added to this card, I'm sure it would just, you know, make it that much better, and I would love to see that, especially consideration, taking into consideration the fact Michael Bisping has been looking for his retirement fight, it just hasn't been working out, whether it's because the timeline, you know, UFC London didn't work, it was too soon after the Gastelum knockout loss, he couldn't really fight at London, I mean, there was talks of it, 
but that could have factored into it. I mean, there was talks of Michael Bisping versus Vitor Belfort, talks of Michael Bisping versus Rashad Evan, talks of Michael Bisping versus Leoto Machida. None of those panned out. Michael Bisping still needs a retirement opponent. Um, with that being said, he said, I don't know who the opponent's going to be, but I would, I'm down with fighting on that Liverpool card. You know, Darren Till, and he would have to be, you know, the co, co probably the co main event to Darren Till, but I'm sure he don't mind that. It's, you know, that would kind of be like the passing of the guard. Like the, um, the UK's biggest star in Michael Bisping now transferring like to Darren Till, you know, kind of like passing the torch. Michael Bisping retiring that night. Darren Till, biggest fight of his life, same card. Michael Bisping said, hey, UFC, I'm available. If you want me on that card, you got my number. That's a nice retirement fight. Liverpool, Northwest England, that's where I'm from. Let's get it on. And I think the UFC will probably jump on that because it will not only um, bolster the UFC England card, but also, Michael Bisping needs an opponent. He'll have time, the time, you know, time to heal up from the Gastelum fight. I actually think that's the perfect time for Michael Bisping to jump on this card. So I think we'll see on top of the card we already saw, we're going to probably get a Bisping versus somebody. Um, Machida's fight in Belfort. Maybe he'll fight Machida after that. They're fighting at UFC 224. Maybe they fight, you know, winner of that fight. Who knows, man? There's all type of good stuff that can happen still for UFC Liverpool. With that being said, it is what it is. Darren Till versus Wonderboy is official, and Michael Bisping is interested in fighting on that card. And one quick funny note, um, if you listened to the, like, Darren Till, he did a... Um, you know, where he gets on the stage and answers fan questions like a fan expo with the UFC and Megan O'Leary and Michael Bisping was on the same stage like right after him. And they were like, Michael Bisping, how do you know, how would, would you be interested in, you know, co-headlining or how would you be interested in fighting on one of Darren Till's cards if he's the headliner, you know, like throwing a little like, you know, are you ready to be second fiddle to Darren Till? Like a little funny joke, but it was it was all in fun, good fun. Either way, it's looking like that might be the case. I'm a big fan of both of these guys, Darren Till, Michael Bisping, UFC Liverpool look like it might be one of the fucking best fight nights of the year as far as I'm concerned. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out. If I can get this thing up. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out. Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G!